Hey everybody, it's Jimmy, aka CMikey420, back. Um, it's been a while since I've actually done a face-to-face -face podcast like this, or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I'm not the best YouTuber, obviously. I'm a horrible one. Uh, today I thought I'd just uh, talk about why I went with the 2020 Mini JCW Countryman instead of every other vehicle everyone's been saying you should buy, should have bought for the 50000 you spent on that Mini. You know, the thing is with Mini, um, I had a weird, weird model of a Mini, my first one. It was um, the 2013 Mini Cooper uh, Coupe. Uh, the designations R58 for the Mini uh, technical peeps. Uh, basically, that was a two-seater, two-door Mini with a Coupe body design. Uh, the unfortunate thing was it sold horribly. So in turn, there's probably less than 10,000 of those things floating around in the U.S., on the roads, if even that many. I think probably is like 6,500. So why do I bring that up? Mainly because it just kind of sh explains and shows the kind of driver I am. Um, for me, it's not about getting, I guess, you know, what everyone says you should have. I like to have a vehicle that's a little more unique and not your average run-of-the-mill kind of car. It's like not a, I mean, I could have got a, a Focus RS, a Focus ST, or a Honda Civic Type R, or, I mean, I could have even got a Supra. Well, that would have been pushing my budget, but, yeah, but the problem was I had some pretty, uh, pretty specific criteria I needed. Basically, my problem was I needed something with a little more clearance, because my parents live on a farm in Minnesota, and I got almost stuck quite a few times last year, and it was not fun. I needed all-wheel drive. Uh, I needed to be able to fit three full adults, with four people total in it, and also needed to have enough space to be comfortable for rides over an hour, and it had to be fun to drive too. So I started looking in the compact utility vehicles, uh, SUV uh, genres. Um, all the domestic brands like Ford and Chevy, and just, I'm sorry, they're, Every model that I was looking at of the smaller SUV CUVs, they were all just gutless. There's, I mean, 170 horsepower on a car that's, I mean, twice the size of, or probably about 1,000 pounds heavier than my little uh, Mini was. Because my little R58 had 189 horsepower from factory. I mean, and that was fun to drive, but it wasn't crazy fun. It was fun fun, but it wasn't like crazy power fun. So... But yeah, that's kind of mainly the reason why I was started cross shopping basically uh, like an X1 or was it a Q3, I think it was, or a CX5, CX3 from Mazda. Um, I, I like the Rogues, honestly, the Nissans, but they just weren't big enough in the back seat for what I needed the way they're designed with the angle. You really feel claustrophobic in the back of those. And the main thing, too, I wanted, I wanted a hint and touch of luxury inside. And that's the thing about the new Mini Countrymen's. They're literally just BMW X1, X2s with a mini skin and personality and tune. Uh, so far, I have about 1,000 miles and I am enjoying that thing. Uh, that 300 horsepower and 250 pop feet, uh, pounds per feet of torque, really, you feel it. If you're in spurt mode, you feel like you have plenty of power underneath your excel underneath your foot. I mean, I'm going 70 on the freeway and I know I could just punch it drop it in the fifth, punch it down, and instantly be new in like 100 without you think about it. So, but yeah, so far, that's kind of what I like about the new Countryman's, mainly is that it's, it keeps the mini handling. I mean, that thing's ridiculous with the all-wheel drive. Taking a, I can do clover lease at like 45, 50 miles an hour, and that's what I could do with my little mini coupe, which is a much lower center of gravity. I just, you know, overall, yeah, you feel like some body roll in it because it's, high, you know, of course higher and, you know, the top heavier. But it's freaky how well that thing handles. Like, it was, I was doing literally 45 miles per hour around a cloverleaf today and it wasn't even squealing the wheels or anything. And then once you exit that uh, corner, you just get on the gas and you just slingshot right out of those corners. Uh, the exhaust now is starting to come alive too at about eight, uh, 400 miles, I think. Um, 
you notice it more now with the new setup with downshifts is how you get the, get it to pop since you know there's an automatic in JCWs this year since Mini was still working the manual transmission they just uh, had a pair with the new engine so they didn't get that out for this year yet the manual but that will be probably coming next year I think I think the GP is also gonna be an auto which uh, a lot of the hardcores are not happy about but I don't know people need to give the new autos a chance they're really good like they're literally manual transmissions without a clutch and you can drive in traffic without having a sore left leg i had a six-speed civic si prior to my minis and drove a eagle talon five speed grew up learned to drive on a 1970 chevy pickup four speed that literally had barely a clutch <laughs> so yeah, I've driven my manuals in my day, but the new autos are, manual autos are really good, so. But yeah, so that's me. Uh, just a quick video, I thought I'd like to defend my love, my baby. Um, I named my new car on my new Mini Clyde, because I had Bonnie, who was my R58, and I always wanted a Bonnie and Clyde combo, but due to not having enough space, had to give up Bonnie, so I got a Clyde. Anywho, if you have any questions about the 2020 uh, JCW Countrymans at all, let me know. I literally got every checkbox you could check on the, on the model and uh, basically custom ordered it. So I had to wait like, it's only two and a half months I had to wait for it. I ordered it in August, late August, got it in late October. So now I've had my baby, had him for about two weeks now and have about a thousand miles and mini smiles. <laughs> Anywho, have a good one y'all. Peace.